Hello and welcome to Park City, Utah, a ski town that's located just 30 minutes away from Salt Lake City. I'm spending the next few days here, so I'm gonna show you some fun things that you can do in the winter time and some restaurants to eat at. When in Park City, of course, you have to go skiing. It's a ski town and that's one of the main things that you have to do. I'm doing it at Park City Mountain, which they also say it's really good for beginners. It's huge. They have a lot of different slopes. Now, what we did is that we bought the lift tickets, which were about $250. We bought them online and then we picked them up at the ticket booth in Park City. We got the equipment in the mountain as well. So we did everything here. They have a lot of rental shops at the base before you go up. So we're gonna rent our skis at Pole Sport and they have the boots, the helmet, the skis, the poles, everything. We're about to hit the slopes. Now we're in the line to get on the lift. If you're a beginner, you're gonna wanna stick to the beginner's trail and the first timers, which is actually pretty long and it's not that easy. Once you feel more comfortable with that one, then you can move on to the Kings and the Payday. Payday is basically an extension of the beginner's trail and it's just a lot longer and a little bit steeper. Oh, where is she going? Ah! <laughs> and check out the view on the way up. I'm doing it with Summit Meadow Adventures, which is part of Deer Valley Resort. And if you come, you can rent goggles, a jacket, the helmet. The helmet is free. The goggles, I've just brought my own. Jacket, I brought my own. But if you don't have any of that, you can rent it here. They also have boots that you can rent. And the snowmobiles are about $200 per person. And if you have a passenger who's not going to drive, then that's around $50. So $200 for the snowmobile, $50 for the passenger. The 2002 Winter Olympics and Paralympics were held in Salt Lake City, Park City, Utah. So of course you have to come to Olympic Park. Now, one of the best parts is that it's free and they have the Engel Museum inside which has all the medals, the outfits that were worn and a whole bunch of other iconic things. And then outside they have the pool which, it, like, which is where the Olympics were held. So right here, this is where all the action happened. They have a photo booth here with the green screen, and then you can pick a background. Go, Amanda, pick a background there. I like the background scene. We are going to pick this one. Yes. All right. This is free with the purchase of the simulator. Oh. oh. blind dog and let me tell you the food here is amazing everything we got I recommend so I got the dream loaf which is something that's very very popular here the waitress said that all the locals come for it it's amazing but what was even better was the pork chop it's really flavorful 
So is the seared mahi. It's very unique. It's very different because it has that coconut curry and mango salad. So it's a plate that you can't really get at many places. No complaints. I highly recommend it. Blind Dog in Park City. If you come during the winter, make sure to come in major snow gear because it is freezing right now. It is 10 degrees. Very, very cold. You have to check out Main Street and Park City. They have so many little restaurants here and bars, breweries, a lot of stores if you want to do some shopping. Main Street is also very close to Park City Mountain, which is where you can go skiing. Look at the mountain behind me. It's beautiful. If you're looking for a really cool place to eat here in Main Street, you have to check out Butcher's Chop Bar and Grill. They sell steak and really good wine. And plus, you get to eat inside an igloo. But make sure to make some reservations ahead of time. Stop by the St. Regis Deer Valley Resort. It's really nice. And they have amazing hot chocolate from three to six. And they also have a lot of restaurants and you can go skiing here as well if you're a hotel guest and a member. When you get to the Deer Valley Resort, if you're a guest, you have to take the funicular, which is this that takes you all the way to the main lobby because people actually live here as well. Since this is a winter wonderland here, you can just stop anywhere and build a snowman or do snow angels. So, hey, the Bobby. <laughs> you can just do this everywhere you go. Now we found random little mountains here and to go sledding or yeah we bought one of those like round sleds and my dad is just up there climbing it. Oh, <laughs> oh te hundiste! Oh shit man! <laughs> we came to eat at Squatters Roadhouse and Grill which is about five minutes away from Park City Mountain. We have the bison burger, the New York strip, and pizza. It's actually negative one degrees, and we are gonna go do a sleigh ride. Like, seriously, I'm sure it's gonna be great, but I kind of regret reserving this because it is freezing. Negative one, that is insane, and it's only gonna continue going lower and lower. Sure. You can do the sleigh ride from Summit Grounds. Now, it's right by the Westgate Resort. And they only do it at night, so it's extra cold and the horses only work for about two hours so there's a very specific time frame for you to do it um, they have a little blanket for us you know to cover us up a bit while you're in park city i would recommend that you make the drive to the great salt lake park it's not in Park City, it's about 40 miles away. It's in Magna, Utah, but I highly recommend it because it's the most easily accessed gateway to the Great Salt Lake itself.
So I really loved Park City, especially if you love skiing. This is a ski town and it is recognized as one of the best places in the country to go skiing. So do that, go snowmobiling, go dog sledding. You can also go snowshoeing. There are many things you can do here. There are also a lot of other things that I wanted to show you guys doing, but to be honest, it was just so, so cold outside that I couldn't really record as much. But all in all, I would highly recommend it. And yeah, I hope you make it out here. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to subscribe to my channel because it helps me out a lot. And I'll see you all in the next one.